Hello, it's Chris Lawler. Just thought I would walk you through my process for piecing together the Frankenstein folded. So what I've got right here is I cut out the entire folded. This is what it looks like. I cut out the entire folded out of Ginger Snap cardstock, and then I ink blended around the face, the hands, and the feet. And then I glued it onto the outline die, which is this, cut out of Kiwi. And then what I like to do, and everyone does it differently, what I like to do is then, you know, basically paper piece all of the, of the different colors on top of my foundation die cut. And then in, I just find it a lot easier to have the different colors and then just layer them on top of the base. That way, you know, it just gives it a more consistent look and you're not, um, you know, kind of dealing with rough edges and stuff like that. So basically what I did was I went ahead and I just trimmed out each of the different pieces. And then I used this random dot stencil to add some interest uh, to the clothing items. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is just start gluing stuff together and then you can see how it all comes together. And it's, you know, relatively easy. You could mass produce this by, um, you know, cutting out a bunch of hair, then, you know, cutting out your clothes in different colors. And what's kind of nice about this one in particular is that um, if you have a lot of scraps, you can just kind of go through your scrap bin and pull out all the different colors that you might need to, to put it together. And another nice thing about just doing the, the base part in all one color um, is that then you have the lines and it's easy to, to put into place. You can use the Kiss Cut pad and allow that to do your lines as well. But I like having the look of, you know, having the clothing on top. It adds a little bit of dimension to the face and all of that. Um, Cause then it, you know, it kind of looks like his hand is uh, sticking out of the jacket. So it's just, everyone's got a different way of doing these, um, but this is, what I find that works. And of course my glue is not wanting to come out. So we'll go to the alternate. That one's really coming out. So always fun when you're filming and it doesn't exactly go as planned, but we'll make it happen. Fortunately, get a microfiber and we'll just kind of clean that up a bit and then I like working with the glue because then it basically, oh geez, gives you some wiggle room. I'll just, I just refilled these, so my glue's kind of coming out, but anyway, we'll make it work. All right, so there's that. So that's pretty much done. You can see how quickly that comes together. Let's go ahead and do the eyes. I cut these out ahead of time, so I'm going to go ahead and put those into place. They come into place pretty easily. There we go. There's one. There's the other one. Okay, so now you can see the tooth needs to be done, and I figured I would leave this one to show you how I like to do that, is I ran through part of the face in white. So all I'm gonna do is just kind of snip the tooth part like that. There you go, and then I'm just gonna kind of set this in my work area. There's like a little, tiny thing on the side 
So I'm gonna go ahead and trim that off. Cause that's, that's another reason why I like to have everything in one um, continuous piece because then you're not having to deal with those edges. So, and here's another little trick just for getting the glue in a small area. I'm just using the scrap and I just put a little tiny bit of glue on there and I'm gonna dab that where I want the tooth to go. And then I'll go ahead and uh, put that into place. These little pieces can be a little bit of a challenge. There we go. And just kind of put that into place. All right, so that's pretty much it. Um, one thing I decided to do, I haven't done one in a while. I thought it would be fun to do a stand-up card. I initially made the base out of white and then I was going to, to use that and I just thought it looked kind of boring. So I thought for a nice pop of color that I would use um, the same color as his jacket for the card base. So what I'm gonna do is um, to make a stand-up card, all you really need to do, this is how I like to do them, is you know, you run, you fold it through, you know, you're, you fold your paper in half, you put this down so that you have a little bit of opening at the top, you run it through, and then um, for the top part, what I like to do, especially this cardstock is a little thinner, I just um, kind of go like that, and then um, this will be how it, and then I'm just going to glue, I'm gonna take my glue, and I'm just gonna glue to this bottom part. So you'll see how it works. And then I will make sure to put my, when I create the thumbnail image, I'm going to have, um, have it standing up in the thumbnail image so you can see kind of how it looks finished. But anyway, so when he's standing up, it's gonna look like this. And then I'll take the, the Too Cute to Spook and I'll put that right in front and I'll go ahead and mount that on some foam tape to pop it up a little bit so that there's something to catch um, his feet so he's not um, flopping around if someone tries to stand up the card. So, got that, let me just get that in the right spot. I'll kinda do that. So yeah, so basically, you know, this is what it looks like closed and then the recipient can stand up the card like that. And then I just thought um, Frankenstein would be cute um, as a stand-up card. So anyway, if you have any questions, um, please let me know. Thanks.